Hello guys, it's Michael from Gainerman here, and here today I'm coming at you guys with a video about problems with gaming in the 8th generation. Now I'd like to start off with number 5 as always, which would be microtransactions. While they're not new to this generation, it's without a doubt gotten worse at this point. Here, let's use Overwatch example. You buy the $60 game, and then you have the choice to pay for something, and you don't even know what you're getting. Games like COD do similar things, and we know this all too well as gamers, don't we? At least with DLC, you get a few more hours of content, or you get an armor, weapon, or etc. packs, which will actually improve your game. You're not just buying one item that you'll most likely lose games to if you don't buy. Number four, which would be lack of backwards compatibility. Yet another thing that is not new in this generation. This doesn't apply to the Wii U since it has full backwards compatibility, but the Xbox One has backwards compatibility for certain games, and it took some time even for that to happen. And the PS4 has no backwards compatibility. At this point in the eighth generation of gaming, guys, I'm really surprised that even a, a big console like the PS4 wouldn't have a backwards compatibility. Is that really just seems like not advanced? The PS4, which is a much more expensive console than the Wii U, could you know not triumph it in that in that area. Number three, which is another thing we know all too well, without a doubt, it's constant updates. Well, updates are a great thing that allow for bug fixes and added content. There are just way too many updates for every game. Many of these updates can take 15 minutes or more to download. Have, now, guys, have you ever had only a short amount of time to play a game, but that entire time it was updating? And if so, you probably can agree with us on this. Number two, which especially kind of kills me on the inside here, actually, is bad PC ports. If you guys didn't know, a PC port is basically just a computer version of a game if it was meant for a console. Many games now are aimed at consoles and not computers. When Mafia 3 was released very recently, it was locked at 30 frames per second. It was quickly patched, but it should have been launched without an FPS lock. Also, games like Arkham Knight are enjoyable on console, although there are many bugs on PC which make it unenjoyable. And now for number one, guys, the end of this video here, the lack of major exclusives. While this one doesn't apply as much to Nintendo, it does apply to a lot to Sony and Microsoft. I'm not saying they have bad exclusives. In fact, some of them are fantastic, to be honest. For the PS4, there's Uncharted 4, Ratchet, Clank, Until Dawn, and more. And for the Xbox One, there aren't as many games, because many are on Windows 10 computers. But there are games that you have to buy on Xbox One before you can play on PC. Forza Horizon 3, Gears of War, 4, those are just some great Xbox One and Windows 10 exclusives. However, there aren't that many major exclusives, and there are a lot of remastered ones as well. There aren't as many exclusives as there have been in the past, and don't say it's because this generation is over. In other generations, there have been more exclusives within three years of the console's launch. Luckily, there are many great ones. Now guys, do you think there's more things wrong with the 8th generation of gaming? And if so, let us know down in the comments and you guys can get a discussion going on it, and we may even reply back. Thanks so much for watching, have a wonderful day, and goodbye.